Mario. 10 points to Slytherin. All right, I lost my friends. All right, this is Southern Harry Potter right here. What do wizards drink? Well, right now I'm drinking a coffee and I am a full grown, full grown, <laughs> I'm a full grown wizard, but I have not graduated Hogwarts at 29 years old. Sitting here with my buddy Hufflepuff. I'm a Slytherin, of course, and we're at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter and we're doing a wizarding bar crawl or a wizarding pub crawl, as one would say. And yes, I have not graduated Hogwarts yet. I'm 29 years old. My buddy Austin is on his way. He's gonna meet me here. And we're also gonna go to a muggle bar. What do wizards drink? Well, I guess we'll find out today it is hot and I'm wearing my robe I hope I do not sweat just melt away like an technical difficulties I hope I don't melt away like an ice cream cone let's go get our first drink at Diagon Alley we're gonna start at the leaky cauldron Accio beer let's get started not Austin beer. are you ready to get some brew today today I'm doing a wizarding pub crawl you want to get some beer do it. all right you're down? down hey are you a Dodgers fan just a little bit you know <laughs> cauldron sign actually as soon as I panned away as soon as you panned away it started dripping because it actually drips because it's a leaky cauldron so we're gonna go inside here and grab a cheeky pint it's gonna be awesome first drink of the day let's get started Revelio In the leaky cauldron, I got the dragon scale, which is, it's like a uh, yingling. I think it's like a lager, a dark lager. You already know what to expect. I'm not gonna say, gonna say it is a yingling. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, but it could be a yingling. Let's test it out. I've had this about a hundred times. Very refreshing on today. Extremely hot here in Florida, Orlando, Florida, middle of May. You know it gets hot here. First drink of the day at the leaky cauldron, Hagrid would be proud. 10 points to Slytherin. Cheers. All right, Austin, you got the leaky cauldron right behind you. Did you know that, by the way? The leaky cauldron's literally right behind you. We're the crack. the leaky cauldron, and the leaky cauldron's right behind me. That's exactly. Crazy. That's awesome. What do you got there? So I have the wizard's brew. It's comparable to like a Guinness. Like a Guinness. Okay. Sweet. Very, very sweet and comparable to sweet a Sweet stout. Sweet stout. I rate this beer a 9 out of 10. Let me just double make sure, you know. Yeah, definitely 9 out of 10. It's, it's solid. Highly recommend. Next time you guys are at the leaky cauldron, come check it out. Wizard's brew. There you have it. We just rode Gringotts and it was amazing as always. And we're about to get a drink. Hopefully we can find a place without a line. We're still in Diagon Alley right behind me. Right behind me is the dragon from Gringotts. It's starting to cool off, honestly. I don't feel as hot in my robe anymore. All right, I lost my friends. The Fountain of Fair Fortune is right here in Diagon Alley. We're about to go in and hopefully get ourselves a beer. There's the dragon. Ooh, he sounds like he's gonna blast. Is he gonna blast? The Fountain of Fair Fortune. This is where they also sell butter beer and, well, here's their menu right here. You can get fire whiskey, frozen butter beer. You can get the Dragon Scale, draft beer, fire whiskey, butter beer. And there's Austin. What are you gonna, are you gonna get anything, Austin? Possibly. All right. Revelio. I'm right here with the Wizard's Brew in front of Nocturne Alley. We don't wanna go down there, even though I am a Slytherin and they would absolutely welcome me with open arms down in Nocturne Alley. But we're not gonna go down Nocturne Alley. We're actually gonna enjoy our nice Wizard's brew here in the shade it's a beautiful day cheers this is a sweet stout kind of sort of kind of like a guinness it's got a dark color to it but man is it good fun fact about stouts is they're actually dark 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 amber everyone thinks that they're like tan or black they're not they're actually kind of a shade of red there you go cheers here down nocturne alley where the where the creepy crawlies hang out <laughs> Diagon Alley, gotta put on my shades. 20 points to Slytherin if I finish this beer. Chug it. And one chug. I'm a worse chugger, it's not gonna happen. Excuse my wizard's beard. Hey, have you ever seen a wizard's sleeve before? <laughs> yeah, I'll leave. 
All right, we're back in muggle territory, so shh, I gotta put away my wand. They'll just think I'm wearing a bathrobe. Nobody will care anything that I'm wearing this. Um, hopefully not, but we're gonna go in Finnegan's famous Irish pub at Universal Orlando and get a muggle drink because why not? It's a pub, right? Hagrid, Hagrid would be proud. Let's go inside. So I got what they call a black velvet, which is half strongbow cider. Actually, it's a, not strongbow. It's a different type of cider and then half Guinness. This is a delicious concoction. Every time I go to Disney at Epcot, I always go to the, ra the Rose and Crown and I always get this. This is so good. They make a mean black velvet here, so not bad at all. We got to get over to Islands of Adventure so we can go to the Hogshead. I'm excited. Going to get a Hogshead brew over there. Let's get started. I got to chug this drink, guys. Wish me luck. Let's go. Hagrid would not be proud of my chugging skills. <laughs> Even though I'm a Gryffindor. Watch out. <laughs> Even though I'm a Gryffindor for Mitchell May. 10 points to Slytherin. 10 points to Slytherin. 10 points to Slytherin. We're going over to Islands, baby. We made it inside Islands of Adventure. Stay tuned for the Hogshead Brew. It's my favorite beer, I believe. I mean, you know, I've never really thought about it, but I, I'm pretty sure that the Hogshead Brew is my favorite at Universal for all the Harry Potter style beers. It's pretty much, I think, a red ale, and red ales are delicious. So I'm excited for this. It's honestly been a beautiful day. I thought I was gonna like sweat and melt like an ice cream cone, but I'm definitely feeling really good right now. Maybe it's the three beers I already had, but like the wind is blowing and I don't feel like I'm sweating a lot. It actually feels really wonderful. We've had some great weather recently, I'm not gonna lie. I thought it was gonna storm today, but we got lucky. Welcome to Hogsmeade. We're gonna go inside the Hogshead and get a nice cheeky point. Yeah? 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 All right, let's get it. So I'm ending my day in the Hogshead with a nice Hogshead brew. This is a red ale and it's probably my favorite. It's scrumptious. If you like red ales, if you like Killian's Irish Red, any of those Kilkenny's, delicious. Cheers here at the Hogshead. This is exactly where they made, they signed the papers for Dumbledore's Army. So cheers where they signed the papers for Dumbledore's Army. Basically like the Declaration of Independence for wizards. So here we go. Refreshing, delicious. What can I say? It's everything you want from a beer if you're in a nice pub like we are right now. Hagrid would be proud. You know how it is. Cheers. We made it to Hogwarts. We made it to Hogwarts. This is the end of today. We had a wonderful day drinking around the wizarding world of Harry Potter. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It would really help me out if you guys gave me a thumbs up, maybe subscribe down below. Both of those things help me out tremendously. I love making these videos for you guys and let me know in the comments what you would like to see next. If you would like to see more Harry Potter videos, more Universal videos, whatever you'd like to see, just let me know in the comments. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Peace. goes on back there? That's what I want to know. What goes on back there? All right, this is Southern Harry Potter right here. Expect them to charm out. Oh,